Well, I'm your boy D2 from Head Movement TV, and I'm here at Henrietta Street Gym, and I'm joined by none other than Birmingham's own Delicious Ori. Struggled, <laughs> Struggled again. I didn't want to say Delicious <laughs> Oreo. Yeah. Mm, delicious Oreo. Never He's never heard that one before. He must get it all the time. But yeah, so basically, I've just did a hard grooming session. You see me do my thing. Yeah, you man. get me? As you can see, I'm like faking it till I make it here. I chose to leave the hand wraps on. You get me? To look like I'm in mean business right here. <laughs> and me as well, to be fair. There on you the same go. Page, That's what I'm saying. So basically, obviously, I'm just going to ask you to tell me a bit about yourself, yes. what you've done, what you've done. Obviously, that just interrupted me. What you've done previously and your hopes and dreams for the future, so cool. take it uh, away. Obviously, and I was delicious. Ori. Try to be loud because I know we got the music in oh, the background. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if the, the, the microphone can pick it up. But. Delicious Ori, uh, boxing out of Henrietta Street Gym, Jewelry Quarter Boxing Club. I've had 22 fights. Uh, yeah, man, I'm just entering competitions, entering tournaments, and seeing how far I can get, man. You know, just, just, just putting in work, putting in work. How tall are you? Do me a favor, just stand up. Let, let, let the camera. Just back up a bit, just back up a bit. Let's just see him in all that. Now, I'm, I'm a perfect man. Oh, come on, don't take the piss. I know I got you with the, with the Oreo remark, but yo, he ain't not a man because he's little, you know. But that's what I'm saying. So, obviously, how tall are you? I'm about 6'5. Six, 6'5, five. Six, five. so you're big lad. You are super heavyweight. Super heavyweight, right? yeah, which is 99 plus. I'm yeah. weighing roughly about 106. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man, big boys, when you, when you come play with super heavyweights, yeah. you need just, to know what time it is. Hold, hold your reach out of it. Let me just see. Let me just see. I'm just, do you reckon I can still get it? It's not, it's not ready. Oh. It's not ready. It's not ready. But yeah, man, so, so yeah, yeah, yeah. 22 fights here. Yeah. And um, so you basically, you're, you're an amateur, yeah? Yes, yeah, so I'm an amateur. And uh, so, um, obviously, how it works, you've got novice amateurs, you've got um, elites. Uh, so I was able to get my first elite fight when I was in 12 fights, uh, well, my 12th fight, uh, entered the ABAs, a massive, massive experience, yeah. you know, after that I was able to join multiple tournaments and, you know, win all of them. Yeah, that's, that's so, the main thing. But... Yeah, and, you know, getting my name out there is, well, while I'm doing it, and most importantly, having fun. Having fun, that's what yeah. I mean. That's what I mean, obviously, like I said, I came here and I, um, I, I, I did a circuit training. Is that similar to the type of thing that you do here? Uh, um, or was that just like no, a little fraction? <laughs> that little like, light work to me. Ah, oh, come on, <laughs> man. <laughs> no, no, yeah, it's, it's similar. So I'll, I'll be doing that. Uh, yeah. You know, a lot of uh, bag work, a lot yeah. of circuits. Uh, I normally would do it about twice a day as well. Um, yeah, but the most important work for me, I think, is in the ring. This is, this is my uh, playground. This is where I learn as well. This is my school. Um, so a lot of hard work, a lot of sparring goes on down here. You know, at the, at the start of the session, I said Birmingham's on. Because I want to say, I could, I could hear a little bit of a twang. I know you're training from Birmingham, yeah. but are you originally from Birmingham? I'm from uh, Wolverhampton. Oh, okay. Um, but I've basically kind of uh, grew up here and all of my training has been in Birmingham. Okay. So, like, so we can claim here? We can have it, we can have it. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. We need, we need all the boxes around this side. Obviously, we've got... We got a few, we got a few. But yeah, um, so some real pop in that, that jab, especially. You know how I know? See, when you hear a man's got a snap in his jab, that's when you know he's, he's slanging some serious moves. You get me? See, when I was on the pads, like, I couldn't get much noise off of the jab, you get me? But I always know when I see somebody hitting the pads, if the jab makes that sound, you're like, woo! That's what a man's throwing with his left. Gotta help you if the right hits ya. So I'm just gonna throw a few questions. What what do you think about the whole uh, 
Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, like their previous fight, and what do you see for, for, for the future fight? What are your predictions? So basically, I'm going to start. Was it or was it not a long count? Was it a long 10 count? No. It wasn't? No, it wasn't. It was, I agree. I think it was 100% fair. It was fair. Um, and I do believe Tyson Fury did get that in the bag. Yeah. Um, however, it's boxing, you know, in America. I don't know how the judging yeah. works up there, but it's different. Um, but I'm looking forward to number two, you know, uh, you know, see what happens. Unfortunately, they're tied up and they can't fight Joshua, which is yeah. obviously the fights we want to see. Obviously. But um, as long as it keeps boxing going, keeps people excited, that's, you know, that's what I want. It makes me happy when people think. I mean, I saw, I saw uh, Deontay Wilder put a statement. I don't know if it was a tweet or something. Yeah. I seen it on a, a publication. It was like, he says to Joshua, don't worry, we can fight. We, we, I'll, I'll fight you after the, the rematch with Tyson Fury and we'll fight for all of the bouts. Like, that's a bit ignorant, isn't it? Like, because he's going on like, like, that, like, he's already won it or yeah, something, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? You know, like, you know what I don't like, especially, this is with Joe Miller as well. Yeah. I don't like it when people put disrespect on, on Joshua, you know? Yeah, I know. No matter how you look at him or, you know, if you think you can beat him, fair enough, but his man's got four belts, you know? Exactly. You don't disrespect the 22, four, four 22 belts. fights, 22, isn't it? 22 amazing, fights and four amazing. belts. But however, however you feel towards him, it's always good to show respect because yeah. at the end of the day, you know, he's got the four belts, you, you know, Wilder has it. Mm. So, I know. Like, Jer like, like, Jared Miller's just like jumped to the front of the queue. He needs to be on his P's and Q's that's right now. Saying, does he even saying. deserve a title shot right now? Who's he even for? Like, Nobody. you know what I mean? Nobody to put him Nobody. there, do you know what I mean? I th to be fair, I think it's risky for Gerald Miller because you know the whole stigma behind Joshua. Whoever Joshua fights, yeah. USA tend to discredit. Yes. So if you fight somebody that, that's that, that's a formidable opponent, yes. they'll be like, he's washed up. Yes. Miller is at risk. If he loses to Joshua, yes. they're going to go on like he's just lost to a, yeah. to a cab driver. Yeah, 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 Do you know yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? Or, well, or um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, he's going to America. Open, you know, it's got new target, you know, it's got target market. It's like a business, really. Yeah. It's going there to fight to appeal to more people. He's going to do the job. I know. It. We all know he's going to do the business. Yeah. Well, let's hope so. We let's all know. Josh hey, that's boxing. That's boxing. You don't know. But who, if you had a choice uh, to fight either three of them, yeah. obviously uh, Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, and Joshua, who do you favour your chances against the most? So if I was to fight one of them, who would you? Who do you see? All right, so okay, I'm picturing now seven years time. Yeah, I'm, I'm competing for the for the heavyweight title, and I'm yeah. thinking to myself, all right, I've got three options: Joshua, Wilder, Fury. Wilder might put me in a coma. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> but then again, I mean, now actually, now I'm thinking, now seven years time, now. Nah. No, 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 no. I'm a beast in seven yeah, years' time. Yeah, you're a beast. Time. I'm you're a beast now, but in seven years' time, it's not a joke. You've already left like 10 men in corners by <laughs> that not time. It's not a joke. Bodies um, everywhere, cuz. No, if I have to be honest, uh, I would fight Joshua. Yeah. I'm not saying because I would have, think I'll have the upper hand. I feel like um, it would just be cool. I think it will make history. Yeah. I think, you know, if I was able to fight Joshua in seven, eight years, whatever. So you're fighting him for the clout, or you're fighting him for, like, weakness? I, or... uh, I won't say for the clout, no. Obviously, there's big. There's gonna be big money involved. Yeah. Okay. Well, but, that, I forgot that. As well. <laughs> Obviously, the big keys. But the it's the it's the it's the history that that I I, I would want to achieve. I want to be. I want people to talk about me years down the line yeah. and say, you know, you know, delicious is for you know Joshua. That's something I feel will be more credential on my record than if I was to fight Tyson Fury or Wilder. So, so let me rephrase it. Who do you think your style is best matched against out of uh, uh, Joshua, Fury or Wilder? I think uh, Wilder, I think I can, I think my style would, would I, would, I just wouldn't get, you know how Tyson Fury did it against, against him? I just would try not to get hit. Yeah, yeah. Simple as that. <laughs> I now, think Wilder, he tried. Wilder, Wilder looks for that. One bomb. He does. He does look for that one bomb, and if you could just work against that one bomb, what else has he got? Yeah. Um, you know, Tyson Fury's got a lot of in his arsenal. Uh, Joshua's got a lot of in arsenal. Arsenal, very um, technical, skilled. But yeah, so I would say, I would say Wilder. Who wins out of it? Who do you think is going to be the man? Who's going to be standing on the top of the hill when all of this is said and done? I think at the end of the day, yeah. I think, I think Joshua. I think Joshua is. The most, um, I think, is the most disciplined. He's, he's just, he's just got the right mindset, and he's got the right team, the right people, and the right support behind him. Yeah, I feel like he's just perfect to then be able to achieve and become undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. You know what? I fully agree. I, I, I believe that. Um, I think. 
Tyson Fury is the most skilled heavyweight boxer on the planet. Yeah. But I just feel like sometimes the most skillful person doesn't always win. No, no, of course not. And especially win. in the heavyweight. Especially in the heavyweight. No, you don't have to be. You don't have to be overly skilled at all yeah. to be able to, you know, knock somebody out. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what you know. Wilder is up there. Yeah, I know. And as much as, as much as I respect and, and like Wilder, I watch a lot of his fights. I feel like he can get out. He, he, he can get out skilled by yeah. other boxers like Tyson Fury, Joshua, and all that. He's got a lot of weaknesses. He does have a lot of weaknesses. But there you go, head movement TV. I think we hear from all angles right there. So obviously we hope to see big things from you in the future. Hundred percent. You know, I'm gonna keep consistent. Gonna keep working. You know, in, I've been boxing now for about three years and I've experienced highs, lows. Yeah. But as long as I keep it consistent, and keep working, I, I see the I see the success. And all I'm gonna do is just keep working towards it. You'll be seeing me on there, man. Standing the over stage. Adney Joshua <laughs> laid out on the canvas. <laughs> You never know, we'll have to see. You never but know. there you go. It's a pleasure, mate. And you, man. Well, there you go. Head Movement TV. Hala, mala, tala, bala.